Hello everybody, good morning, I'm Lukasz Mikolas and I'm a year free student and today I want to show you how we broadcast our weekly community sessions called assemblies. So now it's 8.28, some two minutes before I meet with our moderators and guests for today's broadcast. Um, before that I can just uh, show you quickly what I have here. So this is the the mind of the broadcast where I do things. This is the screen where I see all the feeds and, and previews uh, that are coming in. Uh, here I have a script which is sort of a manual for for each broadcast so I and other people know what to do when. Um, and yeah, things are gonna get more exciting when moderators are gonna join because you will see here more than just black screens. Uh, or, well, black rectangles, um, some of them. So I'll explain uh, this uh, uh, in a few moments. And I should also say that this is just the execution of the broadcast. So there are countless hours that go into the process uh, when we plan what is going to be on air, when we get people, when we cut videos, prepare graphics and, and many more things. So um, these are things that are already done. And at least for me, this is like the easiest part and, and the most exciting part uh, because it's just um, the final execution of, of what we have planned. Um, and also there are many more people working on assembly than just me uh, in the planning team and in the broader team, but for directing it's, it's uh, me today. So we are going to be right back when moderators join and you'll see more. Um, of this. So hello again, now it's 8.46, around 15 minutes before we go on air. We already had the briefing with moderators and uh, guests. And now let me show you sli uh, a bit what um, this multiview is actually about and what, uh, what you will see actually during the live broadcast because we will keep you here so you will see things as they go. Um, so here in this upper corner on the left is the preview. Preview serves for me mainly. So here I can um, go through all the scenes that I have available. See, I can uh, switch between the moderators, between, between other segments. Um, and then this one on the right is the program, which is uh, what is actually live. So currently it's not live yet. Uh, but this is what would be live if we were already connected uh, with YouTube. Um, here um, on the bottom I have other scenes, there are many more, but here are the most important ones which I need to see during the broadcast. So here um, I see both of the moderators, here I see the moderators um, as they are when they are introducing the respective segments, they are doing that alone, only the beginnings and, and the ends are, are together. Um, and yeah, so I can, for example, show you how uh, would it look like if I decided to put Sophie on air right now. So the program here, so here you can see the preview, so I'm already prepared to put her on air. But in the program, it's still the waiting screen, which we are showing until we are on air. So now I'm going to switch it, see, and now Sophie would be live. Not yet, but, <laughs> but this is how it would be. Uh, here you can see actually um, also our headmaster, he is going to join us today for live for his, his head message. His picture is not moving currently because uh, he is not here at the very moment, but he will join later in the program, so you will see him behind the scenes as well. And now let me put the moderators um, here, um, so you can actually see them, uh, both of them. Uh, so moderator Sophie, Vivi, uh, Wait, I need to think of some question from the top of my mind. Uh, what is the most interesting part about doing assembly as, as a broadcast for you? Maybe you should, do you want to start or? <laughs> you can, you can go. Okay, sure. Uh, for me, the most exciting part is definitely um, how personal assembly can get and how you can really um, got style into making and moderating assembly. It's not like we have a pre-written script that we have to necessarily uh, go uh, by and we can, you know, 
put ourselves in it, and that makes it more fun. Also, uh, my fellow Vivi and also other moderator, uh, Ingrid and Loki, a great team. I love working with them, so it's a very fun and very enjoyable, and it's nothing too formal. Therefore, it's very chill and very nice, so I really enjoy that. Vivi, what about you? Yeah. Like, this, ex- this entire thing is actually really enjoyable, like, actually waking up and being here, like, preparing for the assembly itself, but also it's about, like, for me at least, it's like stepping out of the comfort zone, like, actually getting ready for this, and then actually talking in front of the entire school, and I know it's not the same as we would be in the person, but it's still a fun thing, and, and I, re- I really enjoy this entire process of making. Yeah, I can definitely relate to, to getting out of comfort zone. Uh, when I was starting uh, to work at assembly in the beginning of my year two, uh, one of my motivations was to, to step out of the comfort zone and see how it was to back in then stand in the whole, uh, whole school physically to show you. And I need to do this before we go on air because uh, this is something that should not appear on air. Um, but it's about how to solve situations when things go wrong, which hopefully they will not today, I really, really hope. Uh, but if they do, we are prepared for everything, sort of. Um, so we have here, um, for example, a scene called Filler. So this is just um, uh, just a video that shows some um, pictures, aerial pictures of Bratislava. Uh, this one we would use only if we um, had some problem that would be up to 20 seconds, so like we can fill the time. Uh, but it's not something that we would put there if we have a problem which uh, solving of which would take more than two minutes. Um, then we have an error, which I'm actually going to now uh, be quiet so you can hear how the error sounds. And this is what it would look like if there was some problem and we needed to solve it and we would, um, we would um, need to pause the program for a second. So this is how it would look like. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties that our team is working hard to fix. Until we return to the program, you can imagine that you are on a sunny beach, listening to the sound of waves approaching from the sea. Yeah, now we would play the, the sound of sea for, for the viewers, so uh, the waiting uh, um, for the program is, um, is actually enjoyable. We actually had this message once. Only, only once so far, uh, but yeah, it's cool. But not so cool when it happens uh, when we are on air. And then, for example, what we also have is a stink, which we usually don't use. We use it only sometimes, but basically it's just a, so- a sort of uh, short assembly logo um, animation. So we use that when we need to get like some five or 10 more seconds, which sometimes can be a lot in, in live broadcast. Um, but uh, yeah, this is not even an error, it's just like kind of a, a longer transitions, a transition we usually don't use, so it looks like this, so yeah, just a summary logo. And then we would go to, to some segments such as uh, to moderators. Um, but it's 8.55, uh, or it's gonna be 55, so now we really need to go on air, and we'll be right back when things get, um, get serious. Okay, so welcome back. Now things are gonna get serious. We are live already um, and we will be going live actually in uh, in less than a minute, moderators, so I always tell them uh, when we are uh, going live and also how I also tell them before. Um, so I can already switch to preview. See here you can uh, already see the, the timer um, and actually I will just need to uh, mute the the sound we have for the waiting screen before and well we are gonna go live very soon so this is when it uh, gets exciting okay so you see the program is already live here we have the countdown and moderators you will go live in uh, 10 seconds Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. 
Good morning, everyone. Hope you got all enough rest during the weekend. But even if you're still stressed from everything, especially AP is getting closer. Don't worry, since this is the last week before the break, when hopefully we will be able to just sit down and relax. Also, there is one short announcement that the assembly is not happening next week. But not to waste any more time, let's also officially start this week. So, good morning, Lace Academy. Um, I am very excited for today's quote because today we have another video quote and it's from the anime called Haikyuu. So let's watch it. Yeah, and so now you can see the quote. You, usually the quote is, is just a text, but we also get creative with quotes. So uh, we sometimes have, um, have videos. And so now I can be talking because uh, we are off air. We are showing the quote uh, here in the program. But we have 23 seconds until it ends and then we are gonna go back to to moderators so yes here they are in the preview already and uh, we have some 10 seconds five four three two one go the way we interpret this quote is that right now we are all racing to learn as much as we can, as fast as we can, especially for the APs, but also not for the APs. But in order to not burn out and be successful in the long run, we need to sometimes slow down a bit and chill out. So keep that in mind, please. And now we can move on to the in focus. Yeah, and now you see the In Focus, which is our news program prepared by our correspondents every week, um, is, is on air. So, moderators, we are off air for, for about six minutes. Um, and yeah, so you've seen basically the, the whole um, introduction of the assembly. Um, the, there was the clap, which is our usual way of, of opening um the assembly both physically and also in in this online broadcasted um version um and um maybe to talk a bit about uh, what we do when we are off air like we are right now um so at the very end of the of the program we actually show some of the coolest or most interesting messages uh we have from people uh there is on the interface where uh where people are watching assembly there is also um a, a chat um which is our way of well that's basically how <laughs> we try to to keep the interaction with people and so we choose the most interesting messages from from there during the broadcast during these segments which are off air um, and we then put it there at the very end. So we kind of try to keep interacting with, with people despite all the distances we currently have. Um, yeah, so moderators, um, I guess let's look if there is something we could put already. So we have about 55 seconds to go and then it's gonna be Vivi introducing baking with Patreon. Yeah. So, in focus is shortly gonna end. I'm already gonna prepare a scene where where we is on the full screen. So here you see again preview, which is gonna be the scene uh, to which we are gonna transition uh, right after in focus is gonna end. And we have some twenty three seconds. Thank you, Ninka. And that's it for today. Hope you have a great week and see you next time. Bye. And five, four, three, two, one, go. Thank you, Focus team. And now, as not all of us were able to join Pitch's cooking session during Term F, he will, be at least, he will at least show us today his master chef recipe for rice and cake. Yeah, and another segment which is off air, so we can continue looking at what people are writing to us, preparing the messages for the end, and uh, yeah.
Well, we might have an error or... Okay, Sapo is here. Okay, Sapo, great that you are here. Hello, Sapo. Good, so actually, um, Sophie, you will go live in 10 seconds. And then Sapo is gonna... Can you just mute yourself before you go live? Um, Sophie, you go live in 3, 2, 1, go. Thank you, Domi, for the heads up. I absolutely love this segment. And congratulations to all the winners as well. As per usual, the last segment is a message from Sapo. So let's hear what he has to say. Sapo, go. Good morning, everybody, and uh, welcome back after the weekend. Uh, this, have a great week, Leap Academy. Moderators, go. Thank you, Sapo, for this message, and especially like looking at the traditions that we have in Slovakia, because sometimes they're way too much, but sometimes they're actually fun. But uh, this year is probably not going to happen again. I cannot say that I am disappointed. I'm actually very happy because getting pearl water on in like 10 degrees outside is not so much fun. But I understand that some of you are, might actually enjoy that or believe in these traditions. But whatever you do, please get your consent first. But now let's look at some messages. The first one is from Sashka. Welcome to the first week of spring. And thank you, Sashka, for this reminder. I am really looking forward to spring. The next one is a bit of a flashback for fifth birthday for the most people in Slovakia, and it it kind of resembles the Kutkuvdort Nyam by Rebecca. Yes, I am very much craving Kutkuvdort now. Thank you, Rebecca. Uh, next one is from Hannah, uh, and it says Jan, very, very short, but, uh, you know, very true. <laughs> And the next one with no self-promotion, for the people who understand Slovak, the recipe is on my blog. And for those who don't, I will send the recipe in English. Bye, Pecho. We don't usually support self-promotion, but we will let it slide, Pecho. How nice to see you back, Florian, by Darinka. I agree, Darinka. It was very nice. I really enjoyed Florian's segment. And that is all for today's assembly. We hope you enjoyed it. Um, and also just a reminder, we already mentioned it at the beginning of the assembly, but I'll mention it again, just for the sake of the people that were not there. Uh, next week, there is not going to be an assembly because of the seminal readings. Um, there is no morning enigma th today, so you don't have to wait around, but do not leave yet. Let's do the clap first. Have a great week, Leaf Academy. And that's it, we are off air, we have the, the final screen playing with the logo and, uh, and the credits. Um, so yeah, that was it uh, for today, moderators. Do you have anything to say about today? How was it uh, compared to the, the other times when we do it? Well, it was good. I mean, it's, it's always good. Well, there's always something new. But um, for me, it was stressful to pick up the comments because all of the comments were in different languages. <laughs> and also, we tried to do it more spontaneously, uh, more spontaneously that we do that we do it uh, usually, which is a new thing to do. But it was fun. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, I had a huge laugh like a lot of times during the assembly, <laughs> but it was nice otherwise. I loved it. Yeah. So. So you have seen how is it to, to do the assembly on Monday morning. It's fun. It's sometimes unpredictable. Wasn't that uh, today, but sometimes it is. And, and sometimes, for example, um, when Sapo was joining for the heads message, he joined like one minute before we went on air. So uh, in the back of my mind, I'm always thinking of what would we do if he didn't. Uh, well, the moderators would need to talk a, a bit longer about something, whatever they would come up with. Or, or we would uh, need to figure out something else. Um, so, so yeah, um, sometimes unexpected, um, usually, usually quite chilled. So, hope uh, I hope you liked it uh, and that you now know more uh, about assembly. And if you are interested in being part of assembly, if you are our future student then uh, then feel free to join us next year we'll see whether it's gonna be in this form 
um, of the broadcast, even if we are back at, uh, at the academic building at Sasenkova 13 in Bratislava, or maybe finally it will be, um, it will be physical, um, in physical space. So that is that. Thank you so much for watching today and uh, see you some next time.